Greetings to us and welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about Sprite. Um, so as you guys already know, this deck has been in existence for pretty much over a year now. And when this uh, archetype first came out uh, last year, uh, it was very, very popular. It was doing super well at events. It was super dominant. And then what ended up happening was uh, one of the outliers uh, of the strategy, a uh, Sprite Elf, uh, pretty much uh, hit the chopping block. Uh, it wasn't particularly just because of Sprite. It was also uh, because it was an enabler for tier elements. But outside of that, and just Sprite started to two, uh, this archetype was not really hit like at all and it was kind of surprising to me because like uh back then when power of, power of the elements first came out this deck was more popular than tier elements and not only that the deck had a lot of success throughout the multiple formats that we had uh granted tier elements was a more powerful deck uh it was a deck that warranted uh like uh all the hits that it had uh, but despite all of that uh, Sprite was not doing so bad like on the WCQ season uh, we've had uh, multiple Sprite tops and even wins for, uh, for nationals uh, and different events it won a couple YCS's this year as well um, and like my my biggest question i guess for every for all the viewers is does this deck still deserve a hit does this deck uh deserve like to be nerfed more than it is because if we look at the current format uh this strategy is pretty much a little bit power crept um we got to a point where pure sprite builds uh it's not that they were no no longer viable it's just that they were slightly weaker at what they were doing with their boards uh outside of other decks and i guess it's not fair to say that because the deck ha does have like a lot of power they have a lot of uh starters uh no pun intended and they have a lot of extenders and if this deck pops off like you know just resolving one spray blue and one spray jet that's just like a lot of bodies that you're generating on the board with so little card economy um also the existence of uh sprite gigantic sprite is kind of absurd like when i first read this card uh upon ocg release i thought this card was ban worthy um because it's pretty much like MX Saber Invoker, but for level two monsters, and it does have and it has a way to protect you from your opponent, uh, so you don't lose like to Nibiru or Gamma or like other uh, hand traps that can summon themselves, like right afterwards. You don't you don't need to worry about Phantasmi. You don't need to worry about like a few other cards like those. Um, so. I guess my question is, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that Sprite, uh, for me, it's like an engine that it doesn't matter how much power crept it, it, it gets, uh, it might find a home or a place or a spot in some deck in the future. And like in the OCG, all these cards are hit like uh blue and jet and starter are all limited um and sprite is not really like a splashable strategy anymore um like in the ocg pretty much what happened was that the sprite bestial deck uh was super super popular back uh, over there uh, one of the main reasons it was because of how good it was against the element. Another good, good reason was because of cards that, that we have already banned here that they did not, like Chaos Ruler, for example. But uh, then, uh, here in the TCG, what ended up happening is people were mixing it with Runic. Um, and right now, 
like at least in my opinion, the best runic variant is with the Chimera cards. And the Chimera cards are pretty much stronger than this engine. So, uh, right now, outside of the, like, the nimble Melfi deck that we see uh, every so, so often, there's not really a dedicated sprite variant running around. And it doesn't tell us if it's warranted a hit or not. Um, but there, there is one thing I kind of want to show. Uh, I'm going to show this right here. Um, and the thing I'm going to show you is that Sprite will have a home or a place uh, eventually, even though, even though it's phased out of the format at the moment. Um, so if people remember, this is like my old Cosmo deck that I built a couple months ago. I still have it around. I haven't played with the deck too much because again a little bit of power creep has occurred also there's a little bit of consistency issues that i kind of want to fix with the deck um, but i still really like this deck i still really like this strategy uh i'm not gonna demonstrate like the the cosmo deck itself i'm just gonna show you one particular combo and the reason i'm gonna show you this combo is because it kind of shows you that it doesn't matter what happens to sprite if Konami ends up like hitting uh, the the engine in the future, if if the sprite cards are like not like all forbidden, they are still pretty much uh, splashable into almost any strategy that can do link plays. And I'll show you. I'll demonstrate that right now. Um, like right now, I'm doing like the visas combo. Like the you you're probably going to see you you probably see this stuff like in stuff like Manadium, uh like just to give an example. Um, so I'm not gonna show you like the standard combo that you always do with, with this deck. Instead, I'm just going to show you like something that pretty much you can do with any deck that can summon like three bodies. Um. Right now, I'm just gonna summon this monster right here. For those who don't know, this card is called Puzzle Puzzle Omino. What Puzzle Omino do, does is that you can declare a level uh, between one through eight, and whatever monsters underneath it can become that level. Um, so the reason we're going to do this is because Puzzle Omino is a link to monster. And the only requirement are monsters with different levels. Um, so now that Reichardt is level 2, because we declared 2 with the Puzzle Omino, meaning that you can summon Gigantic Sprite. Because Gigantic Sprite can also use Link monsters as long as they are Link 2. And now you do Gigantic Sprite effect. And then that will summon us blue. Blue will summon us Jet, and then Jet can add us either Double Cross or Starter. And this is what this is what I kind of wanted to predicate towards. Like, if you're smart with deck building, um, depending on what strategy you play, you can pretty much do this on almost any deck that is kind of combo based, as long as you play like the sprite cards in it. You don't necessarily need to have level 2 monsters or like rank 2 monsters. And like this engine is still really strong. Like um, you still have cards like the mannequin. You still have cards like the mannequin cat for example. You have cards like IP Mascarina. You have like the, the Charmers for example. Um, Cross Cheap is another uh, link to that you can make out of this. Like the Nightmare Monsters are also something you can make out of this. Um, double Cross is pretty much like four effects into one card. Like, and, and, and they're all like either interruptions or extensions. Um, so there's also like Sprite Smashers. I don't know if I, there's, uh, I don't have Sprite Smashers in this build, but Sprite Smasher is another interruption and it's non-targeting in the interruption. Um, so yeah, like 
Even though Sprite is not on everybody's radar, even though it's not like being seen a lot of places outside of like either going second builds or the nimble engine or like uh, the runic variants. Uh, if I am Konami and I'm like deciding on the next ban list, I should really look into Sprite. Uh, like consider it as something that could be potentially hit. Because if they don't hit Sprite, eventually they'll just become strong again. Eventually it'll just become this annoying engine that is going to be like skewered into decks. And like I already showed you, like a random Visa Starfrost uh, Cosmo random deck pile can make this. So if that's something I could do with a weird deck like this, don't be surprised if you so if you see like a Rescue Ace player just do like um, the combo with the Hydrant and the, what's his name? The, 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 the level eight monster, the, the new one. A uh, Preventer, that's the name. Don't, don't be surprised if you see people do like combos with Hydrant and Preventer that just ends on a random sprite board and they just summon a lot of sprite monsters on you and you and you go like what the hell I thought I was playing against Rescue Ace or you play against like a Manadium player and then the Manadium player just starts playing sprite cards because uh, uh, the, the, orb mon the tuner monsters are level 2 so that's another option or just randomly face like some other combo deck and they start doing this. Um, but yeah, um, I just kind of wanted to share th uh, that notion. I th uh, people who are not from the channel, people who know me like from locals or like uh, going to events and personally, they know I'm not a fan of Sprite. I've uh, like, I guess the history behind it is that I've been facing against the deck for more than eight months now and uh, it got to a point where it got really annoying. Shoutouts to Gary or shoutouts to like all the sprite players that have been playing this deck for a long long time at my locals and they just don't play anything else. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to make this video because I know that right now people are making boundless predictions and none of them have well, I'm not gonna say none of them, but a very few number of them has Sprite on their radar. And if you don't do anything to this, to, to Sprite, I think eventually they'll just find a place in the future, um, like for another format. And people are just going to remind themselves just how strong uh, this deck was like and how strong it still is despite it being uh, power crept by the current decks. Uh, yeah, that's it from me. Enough rambling. Uh, keep practicing and keep doing.